Hi hey everybody, so this is the Q&A, uh, our second Q&A together. Yep. Uh, after the Asia video's finished, I said there'd either be a trip report or a Q&A, so the Q&A it is. The first one I've had is off Dan Churchman on Twitter. Uh, it says, him and Alison are looking at going to Dubai, what's the top three things to do in Dubai? And obviously Pete and Ben, yep. but for me, it's that sandboarding trip I went on, <laughs> where I went flying. Um, yeah. I've got a link for that, so if anyone's interested in that, message me and I'll link you. The, I'll send you the link. You do the sandboarding, the camel ride, and the um, jeep ride around the beat around the sand. It was really, really good. I highly recommend. It's expensive. It was over a hundred pound, but if there's two of you, fifty pound. Yeah, I was on my own. So then, obviously, the Burj Khalifa. And for the third thing, I'm kind of stuck because um, the helicopter ride was amazing. But do, there's not loads to see in Dubai. It's not like flying over New York. So maybe the Yellow Boat Tour, because that was fantastic. I definitely, definitely recommend the Yellow Boat Tour, which is a lot cheaper than the helicopter. So if you can afford the helicopter, do it, because that's a must-do, really. But is it third? Maybe Yellow Boats is third. The best time to go to July, Dan Ask, is... I went in July. Don't go in July. It was a million degrees every day absolutely boiling I googled it and it says the best time to go is our winter time so between November and March maybe January go in the new year and have a nice start to the year in a hot Dubai um, do you like flying I'm not sure did I put that on yours yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the same the answer yes. for me now is yes but I used to hate it I used to get sweaty hands oh I used to be terrible I used to be so scared but now I actually love it. I really enjoy flying. What about you? Yes, uh, I like airport in general for the specific uh, atmosphere in there. Yeah. So. The thing is, an airport is becoming a kind of part of a holiday because that one in um, Dubai is amazing. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. It's part of a holiday. That one in. Um, oh, where was it? Where did we fly with recently to Qatar, wasn't it? Yeah. That airport there. Oh. Some just, of the airports are amazing. Yeah, just like flying in general. Yeah, but actual flying, you're alright, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. It's never... I mean, it's, it could probably sleep sometimes before we take off. Yeah, the, the only bad flight I ever got was uh, all the way, by, way back from Thailand when I was by on my own. Yeah. When I got turbulence over Turkey, I believe. Yeah, that's one thing I've never had. I've never had turbulence bad, so... Yeah, it was... Uh, I might change my mind about that. all up and down all the time, yeah. Was it bad? Yeah. Yeah, I've never had that, so... Yeah. Um, question off Dan which is probably just for me an ideal vlog camera people say the Canon is it G7X Mark II but they're, that's about £700 I can't afford one of them um, but yeah I've, I like the one I've got the Sony HX60V picture quality is brilliant I've just had a bit of trouble with the batteries on them now whether that's my bad luck I don't know but I like these but yeah the Canon G7X Mark II is meant to be the best one yep. that one with the flip up screen what you see them all use and, yeah. but they're they're way at my price range. Like the one I'm using now, the Sony is. It's quite good. I yeah, it's like about it two hundred pound. Like them Canon ones are seven or eight hundred quid for a camera. I mean, you can get uh, quite decent for a lower price, but yeah. you have to look uh, online. Yeah, I want a point and shoot as well. Like you can get them big DSLR ones, can't you? Yeah. But I just want a point and shoot one. That's what. So yeah, the Canon is the is the um, well what what the people say is the best, but yeah. I've never used it, so I won't know. The top three places you haven't been yet, and that's off Dan again. Right, do you want to go first, Pete? The top three places... For me... You haven't been. It's um, Egypt, Egypt, Australia, and uh, Brazil, uh, all other places in South America. Basically, I want to go uh, somewhere yeah. in South America. Yeah, we've talked about Egypt a few times, haven't we? Yeah, but, but uh, I worry about all these people's yeah, stories. One, one time when we went to book it, I remember we never booked it, and then two days later an attack happened right near where the people go to the pyramid, so... Kind of puts you off, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah, um, my number one place, and people know this, it's been number one for a long, long time, is Cape Town, or South Africa. Cape Town and then to Kruger Park in Johannesburg, and that would be an absolute dream of mine to go there. And I, I look at it all the time, but the flights to South Africa are so expensive. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then Rio de Janeiro, which is Brazil. Yeah, I got that, yes. Yeah. We, we, I've, I've, I've got a feeling Rio could happen one day soon for us because we talk about it all the time don't we yes yeah, it's lots really of, uh, good places that the statue yeah. of the fist on them yeah thing. rio looks fun yeah. it's not somewhere i would go on my own though so i'd have to say yeah, if i get I killed, said, I don't go by if I get killed yeah. you're coming with me 
Yeah, because he, he started some yeah. art there. Yeah, I'm not getting killed on my own. You're, you're all right, protecting me, I'll go in with me. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've got India. I did have China written down, um, like proper China, you know, like Beijing and other little places. But I think I've scribbled that out and I've put India. I'd love to go to India and travel India. That would be amazing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, still with Dan. The, which place have I been to that has the best view? For me, it's the Rockefeller in New York City. Um, when you're on top of there, everywhere what you see, right, you can walk, it's nearly a 360, I think. I'm not sure you can walk another side of it. But, yeah, you see all these iconic places you've, you've known of films, Central Park, Empire State, One World... It's, oh, it's amazing, the views. If you ever go to New York, make sure you do the Rockefeller. But I've also got other shouts out where we've got um, Grand Canyon, Niagara Falls, Victoria, you peak, the Jungle Club, of course. Yeah, absolutely but, good. Oh, yeah. Amazing, but for me, it's the Rockefeller, on top of the Rockefeller in New York. What you got, Pete, for that? I, I chose, like I said, it's all the places where it's really amazing, but yeah. the one I really enjoy was in Thailand, that yeah. Okta Fluftoba, where we all met... Right. Uh, so that's the recent one, yeah. where we met um, Adam and Corrin. Yeah. Yeah, the view from up there, you could see all this straight down Sukhumvit yeah. Road, which if you've been to Bangkok is the main, well, one of the main roads. It goes on for ages. And yeah, the views are fantastic. Yeah, from especially there, at night time. Yeah. yeah, it was really good watching it go down. So that's your number one view. Um, Dan's asked if Star Wars Galaxy Edge is on my list. Um, in the future, I'd love to do something like that, yeah. Uh, I think it's still getting built, isn't it? So let's see how much it costs when it gets built. But... It, the plans for it look amazing, I, and I love Star Wars, you know that. Um, and you also said, when are me and Pete off for a barbecue? Probably the next time we're in London. Uh, which, I know there's a Comic Con in October, you told me that, didn't you? So we might have a look at that, maybe coming down in October. But we'll see. If not, we'll pop down. Right, now on to Twitter. This is off uh, Stevie and Jackie. Uh, it's under Ozzy Olba on Twitter, and he's a good, good subscriber of mine. When is the next trip? Now... That's another reason why Pete's here. Yeah, um, we try to book something now yeah. today, maybe, yeah. Yeah, we're going to look at something for... July, July, October. October. Yeah, I've got a family holiday in July, at the end of July, though, so it won't clash with that. Yeah. This is the beginning of July. So, yeah, that's why Pete's here, to look at other stuff. Um, I would say we'll have at least another three or four trips. We'll have July, October, Christmas trip somewhere on one of them ferry rides. Yeah. yeah. Amsterdam. Yeah, uh, no, ferry. that ferry ride, what goes yeah. as... We've been to Amsterdam and Bruges, there's loads more places apart yeah. from that, isn't there? Uh, the best and worst meals on travel, that's from Stevie and Jackie again. Uh, well, I can, I'll can. i say my best first. It was when we went to Hong Kong and we went to Tim Ho Wan and we had them barbecue buns. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, I think that's the only Michelin star meal I've had. And it was so cheap, wasn't it? It was like, I can't remember, less than 12 quid, I think? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Oh, it was fantastic. Them barbecue buns in... Tim Ho Wan in Cham Shui Po, Hong Kong, were amazing. What's your best you've had? Best food? Uh, I mean, I like all of them, but um, uh, two of the best one would be Jungle Club because oh, of yeah. the beef, and second one, just because of the specific atmosphere in it, would be Heart Attack Grill. In, oh, uh, in, in Las Vegas? Vegas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heart... Also, because you got that specific kind of... Um... Atmosphere. Yeah. For people getting their asses slapped. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, Heart Attack Grill, yeah. And we've had this discussion, but the food wasn't that bad, was it? Yep. The food in the Heart Attack Grill was actually all right. You know, it's like a big fast food I, I saw that chain. surprise uh, how people can't eat it because you got slapped yeah. if you don't eat it. Food is so nice that yeah. you eat them anyway. You know? I thought you wanted to let you, so you'd have got a slap. <laughs> Remember that guy who got a slap and he had a wallet in his back pocket yeah. trying to stop it, so they took it out and hit him even out. <laughs> <Got it>. And <laughs> she brought that thing, didn't she? Right, the worst one for me is very recently, and it was that Vietnam food stop when we was on our way from the tunnels to the Mekong Delta River. That stop, oh, that food was disgusting. And it's not the food what made me sick, because that was in Siam Reap, but that tasted nice at the time, so I didn't know that. But your worst one? My too? worst food would be in Hong Kong Science Museum. I was fierce, they made comment. We just uh, kind of bothered to something yeah. just like fierce. We were so see. tired, weren't yeah. we? Yeah. We just like fierce yeah. place we go, just eat it, yeah. We was, we'd been on the plane, we was knackered because of the time difference. The hotel won't let us in, we just yeah. left our bags. Yeah. And we went to the science museum and went it's for something to the restaurant. Yeah. Nobody in there is oh, quite empty. Well. Food was disgusting. <laughs> it was like it's on my video, Hong Kong day one. The 
Oh, it was so fishy. This, oh, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, really bad. Um, Stevie and Jackie again. Do you take care with street food as you got ill? Well, yeah, usually I got ill because the first day I had this meal in Siamri, the second day I had it again. And the only thing I can think of what tasted a bit different was when I got the meal, there was a little dish of some, um, I want chilies, I'll get, like a little, I, can't, I don't know the word for it, but it was a little dish on the side what I had. It didn't taste right at the time, but I never thought of anything of it. And I had an iced coffee as well, didn't yeah. I? And that tasted Could, a bit funny looking back on it. And it might have been that. Maybe water from uh, that coffee. Or oh, maybe the ice from yeah. the water, oh, yeah. But I was ill, on I was yeah. that night. And then, what what I didn't include, I think that night I was ill. I was up from maybe three in the morning. I had a eight, was it eight hour, five hour bus ride from Siam Reap to Phnom Penh. Now that was hard, let me tell you. Um, so yeah, we do usually take care of street food, don't yeah, we? Yeah, the same me. me. I eat usually in a restaurant and do like McDonald's, you know, cheap restaurant yeah. places. But uh, if you eat in a food, street food, you just look for the clean one, uh, quite busy one, yeah. because if it's busy, usually it tastes good. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah if there's a queue there, use it. It's pretty good, because there's loads of options in Thailand. Yes. Well, yeah, Thailand mainly, isn't it? But um, you'll see some that are empty and some that are really busy. You yeah. just choose the busy ones, don't you? <laughs> so carrying on with Stevie, have we ever lost anything? Uh, the only thing I've ever lost on my travels is coming back from Vegas, I had a bag of presents, not expensive presents, um, and I've never seen them again, so they're still in Vegas. Yeah. No, yeah, not Bangkok. Vegas, Thailand, Bangkok. Thailand, coming back from Thailand, sorry, yeah, and I've never seen them again. It was a, you know them cup holders you put your beers in? What they all use over there, what keeps your drink cool. I think you buy some kind of like toy or yeah. something. Oh, yeah, I yeah, bought something for my son as well. Yeah. It was like, uh, they may come on the streets, you may have seen them in Thailand, and it was like a transformer figure, and that was that was probably the most, that was about seven quid. Yeah, I forgot that as well. Yeah, it's quite good. Uh, it's, yeah. You know, uh, That's never seen that again. Have you forgot anything? Yeah, just uh, mobile phone charges, I lost it once, and uh, just a bit of cosmetics. Yeah, nothing cosmetics important. Especially, yeah. yeah, no, we've been quite lucky so far. Yeah. We've never forgot anything big, have we? Um, Steve and Jackie again. Place you so want to visit. So I presume that means the place, if I said to you now, here's 10 grand, go where you want, where would you go? Uh, Japan. Japan. Yeah, uh, Japan's a good choice. Tokyo yeah. is quite good. So. Well, for me, is the one where I've always wanted to go. I would go to South Africa straight away. Go to Cape Town, yeah. Also, worst delay when traveling. We've both got we've the same answer, the same. Here, haven't we? United Airlines, fly to San Francisco from Las Vegas. Yeah, well, first of all, let me say, we've been quite lucky. Yeah. We haven't had any big delays, have we, on our flights? I hear nothing at all. You hear horror stories, don't you? Yeah, they? about uh, United Airlines, especially about people getting yeah. kicked off from flights, oh. uh, overbooking, uh, yeah. all that. Uh, so what about? Well, I forgot one. I just remembered. We had to actually cancel the Ryanair one. We didn't cancel it because it never went, did it? Remember yeah. that? To oh. Rome. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. remember that. Yeah, Ryanair, Ryanair, I forgot yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah, forgetting that one because we never even got on the plane. But it's called the uh, delay. Yeah. So uh, I think yeah. it was that. Well, what it was was. And it was a pretty pissed off because we only had 12 hours, maybe. I think we planned 15, 16 hours in San Francisco. Yep, yep. And then fly back to Vegas the same day. And that's why we have to speed. We do to separate. Yeah. Yeah. And every, I think it was three hours delay. So it took us three hours off our trip, didn't it? Yeah. And that was, yeah, to have a delay then was really bad. And for it to be so long. So like Pete just said, I did the Golden Gate Bridge and he did Alcatraz, we had to split up otherwise. Yeah, we can't cover anything. Yeah, yeah, so that was a major, that's why I want to go back to San Francisco really. Um, best tip for packing, I don't have one really, do you? I just chuck everything in my case and fold it up as neatly and small as I can. Yeah. I just if you've got pants or socks, shove them in your trainers. Yeah, I sometimes take uh, things I not even use it, like, you know. Get the hot weather and yeah. take um, yeah. extra clothes. Yeah. You know. Well, one thing I learned this holiday was if you ever go to Asia, and this is a tip, just take what you need and get it washed. Just get it washed. Yeah. It's so cheap to get clothes washed. Take, take yeah. six or seven t-shirts, pair of shorts. Just keep getting them washed every four days or a week, depending on how sweaty you are. Some hotels got a really cheap price, yeah. for washing, but some hotels got really expensive. Yeah, so. I think the cheap ones will be on the street. Yeah. Just, go, just get stuff washed. And you could probably get away with a very small suitcase because you don't, don't, you need some sandals and one pair of trainers probably that's it so right the next one's a good one and now i think we've got different answers here 
This is off Steve and Jackie again. This best sunset and where. Now for me, it's New York City. But, um, when I was on top of the Rockefeller, the first time I went to New York, and I watched the sunset, and oh, I'll never forget that in my life. Very close ones. Um, I'm not going to mention because I think Pete's got them, but I do regret one, and I don't think I said this to you. We didn't catch the sunset over Hong Kong, did we? Oh, Going yeah, up top, you know, it would have been nice to go yeah. to Victoria Peak at night. We wanted to go back, but we are so busy. We never did it, did we? Yeah. Yeah. That would have been nice. So what's your favourite sunset? Mine is obviously the one we go last time, Pattaya Hard Rock Hotel. Yeah, that's what I had down there. Yeah, that was fantastic. We just sat on the balcony and we, you could see the sunset and it was... And yeah, the of the city you and had the, the whole city you know, in front of you and the... Sign oh, as well. Everything it was amazing. There. That was really good, but yeah. Because of where it was, it's New York for me. Um, how long have we travelled together? Now we've just tried to work this out. Yeah, we? it's about eight years. <laughs> we think it's about eight years. The first travel we did together was another lad called Gary who went to Amsterdam. Yeah. Um, and then we went to Blackpool. Yeah, together with him as well. Yeah. With him as well. And then we just started going together, didn't we? Yeah. So we think it's about 2010. So about eight years. Yeah. So that's the second page. I've got seven pages, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Right, number three. From James Boy Experiment, who we met in Thailand. Who else would you like to collab with? Well, I've got somebody. I don't really do collabs and stuff. I, we did it with you because obviously you're great people and we met you in Thailand. Yeah. But there is one other person I would like to do it with, and that's Gabriel Traveller. Um, I followed him from when he had like less than 10,000. I think he's on 160,000, something like that now. And he just travels the world, and I really love watching his adventures. Oh, there's some vloggers who you watch. And some yeah. people, and you don't watch him again, do you? Just, but I always watch him. I think he's really, really good. I'd love to um, do a travel with him. That would be fantastic. Um, that was from James Boy on YouTube, from Jojo on YouTube. What destination next for our short holiday? It'd be either Prague or Spain. Yep, that's something we're going to look into today or within the week. It's on the list. We've got Prague as a definite do this year, whether it's next or not. We've got Spain, we've got Barcelona, Real Madrid, haven't we? Yeah. Um, there's loads of options. You can do both, actually. Yeah. Just get trained. Yeah, or Prague like is definitely going to be done this year. It's just a matter of when. Um, I oh, this is from Mad Dog. I found you through Hong Kong blogs. What do you prefer, Hong Kong or Bangkok? It's very, very close for me. But I'm off with Bangkok. It's Same very Bangkok. close. Same. Yeah. It's very close because. Hong Kong. I'd love to go back to China, see proper China. Yeah, you know? because we only been to uh, Hong Kong and uh, Macau, but it's not uh, like um, proper China, China, is it? Yeah, I'd love to see that. Yeah. Um, Bangkok, just, just. Uh, Bertie Big Balls one on YouTube. When our forest going to win the league? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Hopefully next season. As long as Derby don't win it, we're all good, aren't we? Uh, next season, I hope. But we say that every summer. Then by. The end of August, we realise we're shit, so we're not going to win it. But hopefully next summer we've got a good manager. CV killer, is your camera okay? Ah, yeah, I had a bit of trouble. Yeah, there, I didn't got that mark on. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it seems all right. I can't see any marks on it now. The circles, not. I don't know what caused that. Maybe I just didn't clean it properly. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking. The only thing I could think maybe difference in temperatures. Yeah, going in and out from hot to yeah. cold. Yeah. Yeah, it seems all right. Yeah, only, like I said, the only trouble I have is with that battery sometimes, isn't it? But yeah. I bought a new camera, the same camera, and I bought it again. But it still does it, so <laughs> I don't know. Lucy with us. Hi, Lucy, on YouTube. Worst place you have been to? Uh, have you got that one on there? You haven't, yeah. Right, well, I'm going to answer. Mm -hmm. And it's because of this time. I wouldn't say it's the worst place, but I just... Pattaya this time was... I don't know, it just stunk to me. It, it, yeah. Everywhere I went, stunk. And the whole trip, like, you know, the whole trip to Thai was probably the worst place for me. It just smelled so bad. The, the drains are massive there. But yeah, um, Pattaya itself itself's nice, but just this time, I didn't, the first time we went, two, yeah, four scared, years ago, yeah. it was fantastic. I loved it. But this time, I just didn't get Pattaya. I didn't know. What's yours, the worst that place you've been? The worst place I've been, I mean, it's quite nice, but it's because... We've been to so many good places that uh, just because of the lack of the attraction to see it's Rhodos. Oh, Rhodes. Rhodes in Greece. Yeah, you went there on yeah, your own. Yeah, because uh, basically you got castle in Rhodos. Yeah. 
Then uh, you got a uh, few other places. Uh, that's it. it. Most most of people go in there for beach holidays. Yeah, and to so chill out and that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So roads it is. I'm glad I didn't go there with them. <laughs> Lisa Odell on Facebook. Pros and cons of travelling solo. Yeah. Uh, I'll go first. The pro is I can do what I want. Uh, I don't have to rush about. Yeah. I've got nobody there. Um, I can go where I want. If people don't want to go somewhere, I don't have to worry about that. I can just go and do it. The cons is is expensive because when we're together, we share taxes, we share everything, food yeah. prices. Whereas without Pete, if it's a fifty dollar taxi ride, it's a fifty dollar taxi ride. Not twenty five. Yeah, not twenty five. <laughs> and also, um, I have to work metros out for myself, which I'm not very good at, and he's pretty good at. So I'm stood in the metro so like, uh, as I said, just go, Pete, where are we going? I can't do that on my own. The only place I got str struggled with uh, metro is uh, Japan. Oh, because yeah. there's no proper... Uh, it's it's just in Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> so what's your pros and cons of travelling along? Uh, it's kind of the same. You can uh, do the same, uh, what you want. Yeah. And, uh, like, uh, don't, if you travel like green friend and other pay person from family, you don't need yeah. to pay for, for it. Yeah. But at the same time, if you go with somebody, you save money on uh, taxis yeah. and hotel. You know, and sharing everything, everything yeah. yeah. Yeah, so they're the pros and cons. I'd, I'd, I'd urge everybody to travel solo at least once to see if they like it. I love it. I love travelling with Pete. I love travelling on my own with my family. You've got to travel alone to realise how independent you are because you can do it. It's so easy, really, isn't it? Yeah. It is really, really easy. Um, from Lisa again, how do we determine where to stay in huge cities? Basically, um, how far from the main attraction. Yeah. Um, Reviews on a website. Yeah, that's it. The price. Use, yeah. No. Well, usually we're not cheap, or we're not backpackers, or we don't look for the cheap. Yeah. We look for something above cheap. I don't know what that is, but usually those places are out of the city centre. So for me, where we determine to stay is the cheapest place, but still nice. Yeah. But it has to be near a metro station. Oh, Most right. of the big cities have metro. Yeah, no trouble. Of, like, yeah. Uh, we don't want to be walking yeah. 10 miles to um, a metro station to get Especially to the city. Especially if it's somewhere hot. Yeah, like in Rome, we stay 10 minute walk away from that metro station. Yeah, but we got Paris, the, the same. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's a stay, you stay near a metro station. Or say, stay near something that'll take you into the city. Bus stop, maybe. Metro stop. Yeah. Uh, a train itself. Just. The places out of the city centre are the cheapest. Just make sure it's near public transport so you can get into the city in a limited amount of time. Yeah. If you could return somewhere, where would you go? That's on Facebook again. Um, I would go to San Francisco because we only spent, like we posted earlier, I spent, well, it was 12 hours that we had to get from the airport to the city centre and back again. So probably actually nine and a half to ten hours actually yeah. In, and that place left a big piece in my heart. I oh, can't wait to go back there one day. So yeah, if I could return somewhere, it would be San Francisco. For me, uh, Tokyo, Japan. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I enjoy uh, Japan in general. Yeah, Pete's travelled to Japan with your brother and his girlfriend, didn't you? Around Tokyo, well, a few villages. Where did you go else? Yeah, it was like um, Tokyo. Yeah. Then um, I think it was called Gotenba. We tried to go take bus in there and go to... Fuji? Yeah, Mount Fuji, yeah, Mount exactly. Fuji. And uh, the thing is, we are not thinking how long it takes, and you just completely obviously you're supposed to do uh, some to uh, so, like very early in the morning. You go like afternoon, and it's Too like, late. you have to do like a couple of photos and come back. Oh, I wish you had a vlogging camera then. I'd yeah. give it to. Oh man, I'd love to see Mount Fuji. Then uh, it was uh, um, Hiroshima. Oh wow. Uh, Osaka. Oh wow. And go back to Tokyo. That sounds like a great yeah. trip. That. That sounds amazing there. Um, Lisa asks, is Pete on social media? He is. Yeah, um, his Facebook's private, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm mostly on Instagram. Friend, but I'm on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, I'll put an Instagram link below. Pete is on Instagram, yeah. Um, and does Pete travel solo? I think we've just answered I've been there myself, just Poland, like 
Lots yeah. of places there on Poland and uh, Greece. Greece, yeah. In twice. Athens and. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 you have, yeah, you went to Athens as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. I had to see yeah. when there was those uh, strikes as well. Yeah, there was. People were worried. Why are you going in there? So it's all, you know. Yeah, he was there when it was all yeah. kicking up, wasn't he? I remember. The only trouble I got when those strikes, when the bus was cast, I have to go some other place to get uh, back to airport. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you travel to Poland, are you on your own yeah. and that? To get back because his mum lives quite so you have to get to the airport and then get from the airport in Poland to yeah. home, don't you? Yeah, the biggest disappointment on our travels that's from Lisa again. Uh, have we got the same one for this? Yeah, we are. Yeah. I'll say our trip to LA. Um, when we booked it, we knew it was going to be rushed, didn't we? Yeah. But we, I don't know if we fell unlucky, but. I now know that LA has some of the worst traffic in the world. Yeah, that's quite bad. I don't know how long it takes us. Oh. You have to change the driver as well. Yeah, all the way over. Yeah, because you yeah. can't allow it to drive for any more hours. Yeah. I would, I've always, I'm changing my mind about it. I've always said it's the worst place I've been, but obviously I've just said it isn't. Um, I'd love to go back and do it at our, you know, the Hollywood sign. Yeah, instead of see seeing it from miles, climb up to it. Yeah, we don't see it in town proper because we've only been in basically in one it's place. so but, rushing. It took know. us so long to get there, honestly. So we was rushed on the Santa Monica Pier, and then it was dropped off in Hollywood for two hours, I think, something like that. And then a drive back, which was one of the worst. Oh, yeah. like Peter said, the driver had to stop before we got home to change because he'd been driving that yeah. long. It was late at night as well. So yeah, maybe that's one of our mistakes. We should have maybe done that as a two day, yeah. but it means we've got to go back. Uh, oh, I've just put this at the bottom as well. When a hotel, when I booked the room as a double, uh, a twin room, and oh, you yeah. turn up and it's a double bed. That's wrong as well. That yeah. really pisses me off. That happened in Rome. It actually, I didn't, I didn't include it in the video, but it actually happened in um, Koh Samui. Oh yeah, then changed the room. Yeah. yeah. It took us into this room and it looked nice, didn't it? I was like, yeah. oh, and a double bed in the middle. I was like, I've not bought this up, and it's on my paper twin room. And he says, oh, I ain't got one. Five minutes later, we had a twin room, didn't we? Yeah. So you know, they just yeah, try and just pull it on you. Wrong. Yeah. As good as friends we are, I'm not sharing a bed with you. <laughs> right, on to my page five or seven. And we're on to Instagram now, and this is from Jen, Endless Happy Days. Hi Jen. Do you plan in advance what to film, or just pick up the camera when I see something? Both. I plan in advance what to film a lot, uh, but also, the another reason with a point and shoot this camera, if I see something, I can click it on and it's on within two seconds, and I can press record straight away and it's filming. Um, so yeah, my camera is always on that little tripod stick, it's about that big, and it's always in my hand, it's never put away, it's always in my hand, so if I do see something, I just pick it up, turn it on, press record. Unless it's somewhere high, then you send me. <laughs> yeah, unless it's too high, because I'm too fat to make it up there, and unless it's Hot. too high, <laughs> then I say, Pete, there you go, get up there. <laughs> no, you quite happily do that. Now I just love scenes, like sometimes you get the video and go, <laughs> And I think, God, I've never made it up there. That one in um, uh, that song, National Marine Park. Yeah, that's I think the worst I ever do. I would so still be steps, up there now. Yeah. Well, coming down from there. Uh, Gary Keith, number one, ask what is the best time to go to the Eiffel Tower? Very early morning. Yeah. And outside of the season. Of season yeah. in Paris, yeah. When did we go? October. I think it was October, November time. Yeah. And it, it was still busy. But get there half an hour before and remember this i don't know if it's always been there but it's massive security now letting you in they check all your bags everything don't they your pocket you have to empty. so there's a lot of security to get in to go to the eiffel tower so i would say get in that queue 45 minutes before yeah. said like one hour or two hours before opening yeah and, you know it's worth yeah, it yeah. it's worth it that's what we did well let's uh, well if you got desperate to go in there you can go in serenic yeah. I presume the peak time is to go up there an hour before sunset so you can see the sunset from up there, but I bet it's heaving. Yeah, yeah. I bet it's so busy. I remember when we coming back it was massive. It was massive, there. yeah. Yeah, we got there. Yeah, before it opens, get in the queue 45 minutes before. It's worth the wait. It is sensational up there. So the next one is from the bed the ped one two three on Instagram. The best place we have been for me. It's New York City. We're doing it as two. We're doing the best place we've been without each other and, and the best place we've been with each other. The best place I've been without you, New York City. By a mile, it is the greatest place in the world. For you? For me, it'd be Japan. And uh, that's the place I always want to yeah. go. So Japan. Yeah, Japan sounds amazing. The best place we've done together is one that 
We've both got the Bongo same answer for Krakow. Krakow. And the village Kasatman. Yeah. Oh, I highly recommend you visit Krakow. It is one of the most beautiful places in the world. I absolutely love Krakow. It oh, was fantastic. Oh, and the Auschwitz. Yeah, it's got Auschwitz and yeah. Birkenau there. The city itself of Krakow is just so nice. You you must visit Krakow. It is an amazing Especially place. Especially in summertime. Yes. Yeah. Also the Pedas. What are our future travel plans? Just to travel more. Yeah. To travel more. Yeah. Right, J Green LV on LV stands for Las Vegas on Instagram asks the strangest things we have seen on our travels. And what you got for that? Well, we got like people for ages sign and uh, those uh, people shouting about and the word and yeah. stuff like that. It's maybe for people who live in America, it seems normal, but from people from America, yeah. it seems a bit strange. That's yeah. those people yeah. you see with a big placard saying Jesus loves you and then it quotes all these Bible yeah, verses yeah, yeah. and that in Vegas. They're yeah, everywhere, she, she lots of books, and they have yeah. massive boombox speakers, don't they? And yeah. they're shouting, it's proper in your face. I see a couple of times people stop and change them. Yeah, 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 I bet there's loads yeah. of arguments over that. For me, the, re the most recent one was in Siam Reap. Now, we was on the tuk-tuk with Mr Bean driving, and on the side of the road you have them fruit sellers, um, where they have the bike on the front as well, but they open up and there's fruit inside. But we was going down the street on this tuk-tuk, and this fruit, pap, this fruit seller was driving, going past us, but instead of having fruit in his things, he had a kid inside of one of them fruit things. Can you remember? Oh, yeah, and I was a kid that, yeah. in, it, Oh, it was so... I looked around and the, there was a kid piled in this... Oh, it was so funny. <laughs> and another thing, in Siam Route, can you remember when we was with Mr Bean driving down them, all them back roads? Yeah. And there was three men coming towards us. What did they have on the back of their motorbike? Can you remember? Oh, OK. A, a full-size pig. Oh yeah, I remember the now, yeah. Them, like, There's three men coming towards us, it was like, oh, oh, what's yeah. on the back of the, a proper motorbike, with, you know, where you put the newspaper around? Yeah. They had three pigs, didn't they? Yeah. Like, each one of them. I was like, oh, why are I filming this? <laughs> it's like, oh my God, they've got dead pigs on the bike. <laughs> that was so funny. And then that little kid just cramped up in the fruit machine. That was amazing. That was so funny. All right, so Twitter, Martin MJ asks, where next? Um, for me, um, actually, it will be what we bought what, at the beginning of July, yeah? so it might be yeah. Prague and then a family holiday for me. But where next? That's something we're going to work out. Yeah. So, Say there's Spain or yeah, Prague. Spain yeah. or Prague. Uh, it'll definitely be in England, uh, yeah. in Europe, sorry. In Europe, yeah. What made us, this is from Martin again, what made us start travelling? Uh, see places we haven't been before, yeah. basically. Places like New York, like you see on telly, all these. Are, and you get there and see them. I remember it's first time, just like last holidays, going yeah. for drinking, uh, you know, typical yeah. like English people go Amsterdam yeah. and other places, yeah. and, and then just like. I just, then you know. I remember it was, we worked together and we were at the same place. It was like, yeah. can we have two weeks off together? Yeah. Oh, well, let's go somewhere different. Yeah, just partying and, we and stuff Thailand, like that. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. just like. Uh, come from there. Yeah. Go do you want to see there, the Grand yeah. Canyon? Yeah. Oh, do you want to go to Vegas? Yeah. We've just done so much Hong Kong. I was, was, was off to Petra first, wasn't we? Yeah, because th th these places we started going basically uh, like guys holiday, but it's just like interesting yeah, from that, you know what I mean? It's got more, hasn't it? Yeah. No, yeah, I'm really looking forward to what we see in the future from now. Because um, what we've done in, well, three and a half, nearly four years is amazing, what we've seen. Um, right, this is from Martin MJ on Twitter. How difficult is the language barrier in Asia as they are looking at going now? If you're off to Thailand or Cambodia, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. The English there is okay. It's okay. And they will understand you in most places. Yeah, Especially Siam Reap, Bangkok, Pattaya. You'll be fine. You'll be fine in Thailand yeah. and Cambodia. Vietnam, you might struggle in Vietnam. We, yeah, it wasn't great, was it? Vietnam. It is. Pete's got to add to that as well. Yeah, right. Japan, uh, was it? Depends who... Like you said, Thailand, Cambodia, yeah, okay. Yeah, because it says Asia, doesn't it? So it might yeah. mean Japan, yeah. I also think China is hard yeah. to language. Yeah. And uh, Japan. For some reason... Well, what was Hong Kong like? What was Hong Kong like? Of course, that's all right. But yeah, it was British, when you go right, to, yeah. like, I think it was Macau. And people... Yeah, because they got the yeah. Portuguese. Yeah, that's there, Portuguese. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. So, like I said, it depends where you go. But like What I said, was um, Japan like? What was Tokyo like? Tokyo... Uh, uh, Kind of right, what but when you go villages? outside, it's no. hard, really hard. Yeah. Really hard, yeah. yeah. So if you go into Thailand, Cambodia, you'll be fine. If you have to Vietnam, 
you struggle and if you're off to Japan villages you'll need to learn a few yeah. um, I always say learn a few words of dialect like hello goodbye thank you if there's two here learn the number two so two beers or yeah, two drinks I so. remember from Japan that's quite funny because uh, we asked lady in there uh, like like bus station somewhere to buy tickets for bus she she's here they speak English so just put paper from uh, like under the desk with like all the station English and show, show us all the finger, 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 finger. <laughs> that's what this is yeah. Yeah. I suppose you can get apps on your phone as well now where you speak and it translates yeah, it yeah. so yeah yeah if you're off to them you should be all right right probably one of my favorite questions next off Twitter and it's from Ann Nuts how difficult was it for Pete to get a USA visa um, did he have to provide flight and hotel details beforehand yeah. Now this was a very good question, that. Huh? Yeah, there are lots and that. Yeah. It's uh, kind of a lot of trouble if you use a visa compared to ESTA, where Johnny just have to I fill just up get an ESTA, yeah, an ESTA form, fill yeah, it out online. Just tell how, what do you have to do? Just fill up the yeah. application. Just fill it out online at ESTA for America, uh, if you're British, English, fill it out online. £20, I think, or £18. Send it, do it, print it off. Last for a year, or but two years, a year, I think. When you do uh, America... Yeah, but keep in Polish. Yeah, so we have to, to do properly. Yeah. So you have to fill up application online, online yeah. which take ages because it's lots of questions. Get all your paperwork like one bed. Mm -hmm. Then uh, have appointment in embassy. You have to I have to go to London but apparently go to some other places as well, like Manchester I think. Alright, as well in Manchester. So he yeah. has to go to London. But well, yeah. we went to London or Manchester for an appointment with the uh, American embassy. Yeah. American and they uh, the have to pay for a visa, which is O almost three times as expensive because it costs like 100 something yeah, yeah for your visa. And, how long uh, is your visa last so? 10 years that's how it takes two two, two. estates two yeah. years so yeah my uh, mine last 10 years but yeah. you pay like 100 something yeah you pay all up front and also you have to pay for your trip to london your yeah. accommodation hotel and all that stuff yeah. and the way yeah. trip way back Yep, so what we did is we made um, we made the trip to London a holiday. Yeah, because we? we just combined that with the videos stuff, on the yeah. channel. Yeah, when Pete went to get his visa, I went to the Shard and did stuff like that. The only thing we uh, missed on that trip was uh, that helicopter ride. We oh, never got because, go, because yeah, of we the bad weather. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember we met up after you got your visa. No, oh, you had to wait another two hours, didn't you, to get your visa? Yeah, you, you had, had your meeting and then came out. Two hours. I remember you go somewhere else. Yeah, I was to the Shard. Yeah. yeah. And uh, two hours in the queue just to go to security. And then another one hour waiting for your number. It's like yeah. big screen where you got your own number. And uh, you wait for your number. You go to the window, show all your paperwork, and then uh, wait again. Yeah. Then you go again when the lady asks you some questions. They ask me like four or five questions, yeah. just some easy one, and just get visa. But apparently, some people take longer if yeah. they miss something paperwork. So, so yeah, it depends. Um, yeah. Depends, yeah, you could do it in a day if you went early morning, came back late night. Um, your appointment with the visa, American Adam, did it have a, a time? So you had to be there for a certain yeah, time. It's a, yeah, yeah, but right. like I said, you have to go before because uh, a couple of hours before. Yeah, said, two hours before, you have to wait just to go inside. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was pretty hard work, but he's got a ten-year visa now, which yeah. is which is good. But he deserves that from all that way. Um, yeah, good question. That on Facebook, Adam Shipley. Do we ever have disagreements? Um, disagreements. Not that I can think yeah. About no, that. disagreements. Sometimes, arguments never. We never fall out. We always plan time where we're away from each other. Uh, if it's a long time, for four days we don't. <laughs> we can put with each other for four days. But if we're away for a month, we'll have one one time every ten days or something where we're alone. But no, we get on. And as Pete said, if you would be partner, you might be a bit more. Yeah, difficult. I remember <laughs> some couples that argue all the time. Yeah. So you know. No. Yeah. No, Pete's a pretty chilled out guy to go on all the way, I've got to admit, he is pretty good. Um, Caleb Waller, what are our confirmed 2018 travel plans? At the moment we've got nothing. Nothing there. confirmed. Yeah. There's going to be, obviously, but at the minute confirmed, nothing planned, loads of stuff. Yeah. Paul Cockerell on Facebook, what is my favourite place, what is our favourite place in the UK to visit and why? Yeah. Mine is Scotland because of the great mountain views yeah. and the um, specific atmosphere of that country. Yeah. You, you've not really been there, is it? I've never been to Scotland. Yeah, I've travelled the world, really, I've never really been to really Scotland. Nice, yeah. So that might be one thing we could do one day because Pete speaks very highly about that. Don't you? Well, for me, it's Blackpool just because of family. 
I've been going there since I was a kid. Uh, that's where we go every summer with my family. For some people, it's not they don't like it, but for me, I love it. I love Blackpool in England. If you could only have nice weather, that's all I would ask for. Um, I've put it on the bottom. Depending on how the football season's going, I sometimes like going to Nottingham as well, <laughs> <laughs> which isn't very often, even though I have to go. Right, so I'm on my last page of questions. Okay. Facebook. And this is from James. J is it? I'll it, what have I put. I oh, put it on yours. James Jit. I think it says. Which country has the friendliest people? And I think we. Mine is yeah. Cambodia and Greece, also Japan. Yeah. Well, before this, we would have had Thailand, I think, or, or, or Japan, but together, I think it would have been Thailand. But when we went to Cambodia, that oh, was amazing, wasn't it? The people yeah. in I was Siam, surprised. Uh, here, sorry about people saying it's, uh, people yeah. are quite nice, but. They're so yeah, nice. Surprised, yeah. So they're the friendliest, kindest, helpless people I've ever met was in Siam Reap, Cambodia. Just fantastic, just fantastic. They would help you out. You know, do you want a tuk tuk? No, okay, have a nice day. <laughs> no, come on, how much? Fantastic people, yeah, they're really, people really nice. You know. Yeah, yeah. From Twitter, Nathan L, where in the world would you most like to live? Now, this might not come as a surprise to you. New York. <laughs> yep. What about you? Yeah, for me, it would be uh, Thailand. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, like I said, I like Thailand, but uh, heat is, uh, well... Yeah, it's hot all the time, isn't it? The yeah. thing about Thailand is, it's hot, very hot, very, very, very hot, hot. Yeah, hot so, boiling. But so, <laughs> for now, I say England. Yeah, yeah, I love this country. Yeah. Going away is great, coming back is always the best. Um, YouTube Austin Rev. Name the top three places you have visited. Now, I think this might surprise... I think a few people might be wondering this. So let's say our number ones. Number one for me, not surprised again, New York City. What's your number one? Number Best one, place? Japan. Japan. Okay, we've both got. Have we got, got the, oh, you got different. Yeah. Number two for me, Krakow. I've explained earlier. Absolutely adore that place. Amazing. Krakow, number two. Your number two? Las Vegas, America in general. America, yeah. Like when he says Las Vegas, I think you mean. That whole trip we did around yeah. the area, don't we? Didn't, I'd love to say San Francisco, but it was only there 10 hours. You yeah. can't say, can you? But yeah, Vegas was fantastic. Yeah. Um, and number three, where am I? No, 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 no. Bangkok, number three. Um, I enjoyed Bangkok this time, but not as much as the first time we went to Bangkok. Yeah. No, oh, wow, that was just fantastic. I'll never forget them doors opening in that airport the first time of the year. Yeah. And the doors opened at our first time and the heat just, it was like, whoa! I've never felt heat like, even when I, it's like opening the oven door. But yeah, Bangkok's the third for me. But very, very close is Hong Kong. Very close. But yeah, Bangkok's number three. Yeah, the most third place is very close to Krakow, mm -hmm. but I would say Cambodia. Cambodia. Siem Reap. Siem Reap. Yeah. Siem, I've just, uh, Siem Reap was fantastic, yeah. wasn't it? I'd love to go back there one day. One day, it's just so good, isn't it? It's, it's yeah, the like you said, it's like Thailand yeah, yeah. 20 years ago. Is that what you said when we was there? It's yeah, like... the only bad thing about it is that the uh, visa thing. Remember when, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> having to get a visa to go in, <laughs> right? On Twitter, the Travelly, the best hotel we've stayed in, and where was it? I'll let Pete go first because I think you might be able to guess, Pete. My best hotel I stayed is Hard Rock Hotel in Pattaya. Oh, yeah, that was so good, wasn't it? So good. The views were stunning. Now, I would put the Hard Rock Hotel Pattaya, but it's so expensive. So I've kind of turned it a bit because I've put, when we stayed in Siam, we were staying at Chez Moir Suite and Spa. Yeah. Um, the room, the hotel, the people. That's probably the best hotel room I've stayed in. The one in Pattaya, the Hard Rock That's was the most expensive room. Ever stayed. Yeah. Most expensive. Yeah. And it was just a room with two beds in. This, we had a balcony with fish in the pond we had a room with a nice big shower so for me it's the chaise Moir suite and spa because it was so cheap it was in a great location and i really enjoyed the stay the people the, the people when we got all that food yeah. when we arrived yeah. that was fantastic um from adfoot one on youtube what websites do i use for booking holidays booking.com mainly sometimes we use a goda i use the goda for hong kong sky scanner trip advisor and one what a lot of people do not use is YouTube. You can 
YouTube, and there's mainly all hotels are on YouTube, yeah. aren't they? You can see how it looks like. Yeah. You know. Oh, what does this look like? YouTube it, there'll be a video on it, and you know what it looks like. An attraction nearby, YouTube it, and you know what it looks like. If it looks crap, don't go Like where to go, yeah. or um, iPods, you know. YouTube's a massive yeah. app for travelling. Um, the second to last one from Carla Creedy, best three travel apps. Have you got an answer for that? That'd be Booking.com, uh, TripAdvisor, and yeah. any good map application, but I use Here We Go. Yeah, Pete uses the map application, map application, Here We Go. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, but the only downsides to it, it's uh, most of the places in the local language. Yeah, some Sometimes of Sometimes you yeah. don't know is it was Museum or something mm. because you got local name. You know, yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. Now I've got TripAdvisor as number one. I always, always use TripAdvisor. Maps.me or Google Maps is number two. And then the third one, what I usually do is go onto the App Store and just put in the word of where I'm staying and search for any highly rated apps. So that's what you do for visiting that area, search for a name. And the last question from Jesse Cross on YouTube, the favourite vlog I've made. Now this took me ages to work out. So the best vlog, I'll, I'll give you my top three. My favourite vlog is Vegas Day 9. My second favourite vlog is Vegas Day 7. My third favourite vlog is Hong Kong Vlog Day 2. That's my top three. What's yours top three? You've had a look through, haven't you, as well? Yeah, I think I do Las Vegas Day 2. Is number one. Yeah, Las Vegas Day 9. That, uh, Grand Canyon. Yep, yeah. and yeah. then it'll be Hong Kong Day six when you go to my ah, car. So we've got a few different ones there. Yeah. So for mine the day nine Vegas is the Route 66, Hoover Dam and Grand Canyon. Day seven was the trip to San Francisco and Hong Kong day two is the Victoria Peak one. So yeah we're out of questions. Thank you very much everybody. Um, we'll maybe do another one next year. Get another few questions in after a few more trips. Definitely stay tuned. Lots of trips coming up. None confirmed yet but lots coming up. And um, yeah We'll see you all soon. Yep. So everybody, see you later. Yep. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye.